This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. Everyone knows that smoking has its health consequences, but today we have Dr. Justin Puckett from Complete Family Medicine here this morning to discuss a new study that shows the consequences of continued smoking after having cardiac bypass surgery. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. So I, I feel like after having a bypass surgery that maybe that should be a sign to not smoke anymore, but there are many patients out there that as soon as they're home from the hospital, they're lighting back up again. So tell us about this new study. Yeah, this new study, uh, you know, we've always known that in the long term, smoking is bad, um, uh, both uh, for, uh, for a variety of cardiovascular measures, mm -hmm. but especially for what we call restenosis or losing that bypass. But this study was really looking more at quality of life. It was actually done right here in Missouri at St. Luke's uh, Heart Institute in Kansas City. They looked at about 3,000 post-bypass patients, so people who've had a blockage in their heart where they've taken a vein and bypassed that blockage. And they surveyed them for quality of life measures and for chest pain measures. And they found that those people who went home not smoking and stayed not smoking had a significant improvement in their quality of life and their uh, chest pain uh, ratings were much reduced. So even if um, someone uh, uh, it never, it never has another heart attack after their first one or mm -hmm. after their first bypass, the stopping smoking makes a big difference just on how well you recover, how well you're getting active, how well you're getting back integrated into your work and your life. Mm -hmm. um, and that feeling of chest pain after you've had a heart attack can be really kind of uh, overwhelming and overpowering because, it, oh my gosh, is it coming again? What's happening? And so those making those major decreases can be a big, big improvement in the quality of life. So let's talk about the risks that uh, that po that are for those uh, patients that have had bypass. Excuse me, I'm fumbling on my words. I'm trying to say. So what are the risks associated with smoking after you've had bypass surgery? Well, we know that smoking does a couple things. One, it takes the um, the, the blood vessels uh, and it makes them where they're less uh, able to respond mm -hmm. to, to expand and contract. And so it kind of it kind of takes them and makes them from a rubbery hose mm -hmm. more to like a solid pipe. That's a bad thing because you want to be able to change the d diameter of your arteries. And so smoking makes that less likely um, and can happen quite acutely. The other thing that it does is that platelets are the piece of our blood that floats around and mm -hmm. that can cause, um, helps us cause clotting and cause, and so whenever there's some sort of a reaction in the body, in the case of, a, of an artery, there's a foam cell that's a cholesterol filled cell that breaks open and then the platelets come and aggregate or collect around that to, and to cause that blockage. And so smoking makes those platelets extra super sticky. So sometimes even when they aren't supposed to stick, they will stick and mm -hmm. cause part of that problem. And so you can get some early, early problems uh, from that. And then smoking is just in and of itself an independent risk factor that we know that independent of those things that it also just overall increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. It increases the risk factors for high blood pressure and other things that also increase the risk. And so what are some ways or things that uh, people can do to help quit smoking? Sure. Yeah. Um, you know, there's all there's lots of options out there now. Everything mm -hmm. from nicotine replacement medications um, and uh, group supports and, and education, all kinds of things to help folks quit smoking. And really, the, the most important thing for folks in my mind to recognize is that whenever you go into the hospital and end up getting cardiac bypass surgery, you're there several days. And it really only takes our body about three days to completely withdraw from all the nicotine. Mm -hmm. Now, a huge part of any addiction is not just the chemical, it's what's going on in here. Right. And so um, I think that, that, that the number one thing that patients need to be empowered with is when they're walking out of that hospital, there's no chemical dependence. It's just more of a mind over matter at that point. Now, it doesn't mean that it's easy, but it yeah. does, it does it, you know, that the fact that they've uh, uh, maybe been even unconscious or on a ventilator whenever mm -hmm. they've essentially detoxed from their nicotine um, is, is pretty empowering. And then any of the, you know, even some of the quit smoking aids have a small cardiovascular risk, mm -hmm. but the fact of you have to weigh every uh, risk versus benefit, and in this instance, anything that they utilize to help get them away from all of the junk that's in the cigarette is going to be beneficial to them. And so really there's not anything that's off the plate. There's some that might be preferred over others, but, but the real goal, the, the ultimate uh, goal is to quit smoking whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. And of course, I know it is a hard addiction to stop, but obviously the benefits outweigh uh, the non-benefits of not smoking anymore. So try to stop smoking, whether it is to you know reduce your risk of having a heart attack or lung cancer or mouth cancer 
or anything like that, and just to live a healthier lifestyle. Yeah, and I think prevention's the best medicine. So getting getting to you know now it doesn't matter if you're if you're uh, 15, 18, mm -hmm. 20, 40, now's the time to talk to your doctor and, and kick the habit. All right. Well, thank you so much. What we'll do is we'll post, <clears throat> excuse me, everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com. We'll also link up Dr. Puckett's information with Complete Family Medicine, and we'll be right back.